friends. Welcome back to the Gujarati Chess Zone. Today, uh, first of all of you, happy Diwali. And this is Diwali special episode. Today, we will learn about the birds of Ning winning with F4. How to play the birds of Ning? I will explain you all moves variation step by step. So, please write down the all moves on your board. And let's start. First, white play F4 in the birds of Ning. The starting of F4 with the center to control of E5. Now, Black has four choice here. First, black can play mostly e5, offer a pawn. Second, black can play here d5. And the third, black can play similar move f4 again f5. Fourth variation is normally converting in the Sicilian defense f4 against e5. Okay, let's start with the e5 is the main line of birth opening. Mostly black plays here e5 for equality and white takes this pawn f takes e5. Black again offer a pawn by moving d6. Black want to develop with all pieces early as possible and now after d6 white will take the pawn he takes d6, bishop takes d6, and black has uh, developed his bishop d6 with a very good action. Now, white will play nf3, stop this queen to h4 early. Now, black want to try early attack by g5. Simply g3. Now, after g4, black has only good choice knight to h4. Knight e7, queen to playing by white, black. Now d4, open your dark square bishop. After d4, black will try to extend uh, your defensive knight on g6. Knight takes g6. Most playable move, h takes g6. After h takes g6, queen to d3. Threatening on g6 pawn, which, which is supported by f7. And Black plays here knight c6. Now stop this knight by moving to c3 pawn, knight and bishop also. After c3, black will try to attack to your queen to bishop f5. After bishop f5, simply white replies c4 with attack and defense. After e4, black will play here queen to e7 and Spinning your pawn. After queen e7, white should defend the pawn on e4 by bishop to g2. Here black can long castle and bishop to e3. Now white can take this bishop. Rook takes s2. Possible move for black. After rook takes has 2, rook takes has 2, bishop takes g3, checking the king. King e2, bishop takes h2, and e takes f5. This is a very, very good condition, a good position for white. And now, why can win this game with the piece, win minor piece? Okay, let's see what happens if uh, black plays knight e7 instead of nc6. f4, 
e5 after c5 after d6 e takes d6 bishop takes d6 knight f3 d5 d3 d4 knight h6 after knight h4 black will play here knight c6 instead of knight e7 after knight c6 c3 for the control on b4 and d4 square now black will play knight e7 one move back and white will get a center with the d4 in here after d4 black will play here knight c6 White simply takes knight takes d6, h takes d6, and queen d3, which is great position for white. Okay, let's see. In fourth move, knight c6 instead of black plays d5. What we've done after knight c6, f4, e5, f takes e5, d6. He takes d6 after bishop takes d6, knight f3, and now here white plays knight c6. Sometimes some players like to play uh, pieces instead of pawns. So knight c6 is a very good move. Now d4 with the center control, black will play here knight f6, trying to simply development and castling early as possible after knight f6. White can reply the knight c3. Black trying to spinning your knight to be sub g4 and c3. After queen e7, white can play here bishop to b5, pinning the opponent's knight and for disturb his pawn structure. After bishop b5, black will short castle. White can also do the short castle same here. And the position quite equal. Now let's see about the second move, first move with the d5. Black trying to d5 after against f4 birds opening. Now this is the d5 move, f4 d5 slightly slowly slowly attack with the white knight f3. Black will play here knight f6. g3 white has a good option and similar option again white black can play here g6 also now after bishop d2 same move repeat with the black bishop to g7 and both sides short castle now black can also castle after d3 d3 is a necessary move for white in this position after black plays c5 and white can play here queen e1. Queen e1 with the idea queen to d4 breaking his opponent's pawn after the c takes d4 then queen can move to b4 also queen can move queen f2 also with the f high attack. Queen e1 black will play here knight c6 c3 stop opponent's knight when your queen is out of play the c3 black can play here b6 h3 all square this is called space advantage for white after s3 black will play here queen to c7 for space of opponent's rook now queen c7 and this is an unclear position we can't uh, guess who can win in this position. After queen c7, white will play knight a3 and journey of knight is knight to c3, knight is c3. Now, after knight a3, bishop to a6, playable for black and g4 with the very aggressive attack. Black can simply defend by e6 and this is also a clear position. 
Okay. Let's see if knight uh, if black play here d4 instead of b6. In eight move, repeat of the f4 d5. Knight f3, knight f6. The same moves. D3, D6, Bishop to G2, Bishop G7, both sides short castle, black also castle, D3, C5, Q, E1, Knight C6, C3, Here, black can also play d4 instead of b6. After d4, white should play here knight to a3. Knight d5, bishop to d2. Bishop g4. And knight c4. Queen to d7. This is also unclear position. Okay, let's see. Same move again f4 in the first move. f4, black can play also f5 with the same move. e4, many players play here. e4 for controlling the center. Giving a pawn, e, f takes e4. Okay, here's some mistake by me. Sorry for disturbing, but uh, after f4, black play. f5, here white play. And f3. Black plays and c6, then white plays e4. After f takes e4, knight to g5, recapture, planning with the knight. Black trying to save his center pawn by nf6, and here d3. Black will push the pawn. Black don't take the risk with the c D, e takes d3, bishop takes d3, and the structure for white is very aggressive. So, black will try to pawn e3. After e3, bishop takes e3. And now, black will play e5 for the, on the knight, on the center. After e5, white can play here d4. e takes d4, bishop takes d4. Bishop to e7, and this is also unclear position. Okay, let's say second move c5 against f4. f4, black play here c5. After c5, now changing your structure with b3. b3, black will play knight c6, bishop to b2. Black play d6 here. White can reply by e3. Black can play here e5. Now c4 stops and this pawn and controlling on d5 square. So after c4, black will play here g6. Open the diagonal for bishop. After g6, d4 playable for white. E takes d4. White can take by pawn. And now bishop g7. Bishop to c3. Knight f6. Black can play here. And d5. This is equal position with both sides. Okay, 
we will meet early as possible with the next opening aggressive opening happy diwali and happy new year in advance thank you goodbye jai hind